Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. And to continue on our series on how to develop uh, a Visual Studio Team Services extension and how to configure a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for different environments. And here it, it the first part, which is how to create a publisher in the continuous delivery uh, for the continuous delivery purpose. So the first part is in order, which is a very important part, in order to publish an extension to the Visual Studio Team Services Marketplace, we need to um, create a publisher ID. Anyone can create a publisher ID, but we need to understand the difference between the publish ID. We have a private publisher ID and we have a public publisher ID. So first you need to create the publisher ID, which is will be private at the beginning. And then if you would like to create a public uh, publisher ID, then you will request from Microsoft to verify your identity. It's either your, your individual or a company. And then you will go for a process, which is usually it's very fast. It took like two days to, to approve or reject that. And then they will reply to you and approve or reject your publisher, your private publisher ID to be public. Once you have a public publisher ID, which is again, it could be a public for individual or a public for a company, which have a small difference in the certificate. This, you know, it's small details. Let's, let's leave that for now. Once you have the public pub, publisher ID, you can, uh, you can publish uh, Visual Studio Team Service extension to the marketplace for uh, the public accounts. So this is why it's very important to understand the publish ID. You will find at the end of the video, at the link uh, of the video, all the links to create the publisher ID and all the information. That. So let's see that. So let, let me go for uh, first part here. So here, this is my source code, but before that, let me go for um, the creating the, let me go for creating the publisher ID. So as we can see here, here where uh, the publishers and here my, my main publish ID. So in order to create a publisher ID, all what I just need to go is just create here and create new publisher. So once I create, I, I need to give a unique ID and just a display name. And this, of course, must be unique ID. Of course, it's also very important to understand which directory you, you will create your publisher ID. In, in this case, I'm creating this publisher ID in my in Microsoft account directory. I have many, you know, in, in that based on how many directory. So I just create a new publisher ID and once I create it, let me go for one I create already, which is DevOps Sorts Dev. So once I create the publisher ID, which is very simple, then we will just have like something like that. You know, I didn't publish any extension using this publish ID. So in, in my demos and in this video, as we can see, I create three publisher ID, DevOps sort QA, and DevOps sort pre-prod, which is pre-production, and DevOps sort production. Three uh, publisher IDs. And as you can see, I developed this extension that we will go, that we will see through the video. Um, so, if I want to edit the publisher ID, as you can see, you can't change that, but you can change how you want to display. Okay, so now I created the publish publisher ID. Then I went for VSTS account and I, I created three VSTS account. I created DevOps sorts QA environment, as we can see. I also created a DevOps sorts pre-production environment and I created DevOps sorts production environment. So, so I created three VSTS accounts. 
So now we finished the first part of the agenda, creating the publisher ID and PSTS account. I would like to thank you for watching the video. And please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, here is my blog. Thank you.